Golfers, welcome back to the channel. We're still out here at Lynx O'Trian Golf Club on the north side of Greenville. This is a very popular course, and the course is very busy today as we're playing this just after Christmas in shorts and short sleeves. I know a lot of you guys that are out there watching are gonna be really jealous about that, so <laughs> had to rub it in just a little bit. It was seven over through the front nine. We're playing all the way from the back. It's about 6,700 total yards playing from the back, which is the rocks tees out here, um, which is not actually, I don't think I've ever fully played all 18 holes from the back tee box. So this is definitely something a bit new for us and we're playing pretty damn well, considering that it's just outside of our buffer zone when it comes to our total distance. 6,700 is pushing it a little bit for me. Um, 66 would be great and that 100 yards is pretty negligible, but there are some tee boxes out here that are very much so set back from where the blues are out here at uh, Links O'Trian. So enough of that, let's get on into it. We got hole 10 coming right up. Let's see if we can keep driver going straight. Stay there. Should be playable. Yeah, not a terrible drive here. I mean, we're in a pretty bad spot. We can't get to the green, which is just to the left of these trees. There is a nice little bit of a landing spot over some water over here, though, which an eight iron should be perfect for. So that's what we're going to take. Nice, easy swing. Get something up there. Perfect. Yeah, it's actually a little bit too deep. I should have probably hit nine, but it's a good spot. We'll have a good look at the green from there. Yeah, this is absolutely the right idea. So now we've got about 60 yards. Pitch shot should be about a little bit past halfway. Right side would be the best side if we can get it there. Nice. Ooh, put it in a good spot. Didn't quite catch the hill that we wanted to to slope that all the way down, but that was what we meant to do the first time. <laughs> Let's try to clean that up for bogey. Keep coming. Ah. Oh. Look at this dude. Pushed it right off the open face. Ah. Ah, that's a pretty awful triple considering we had no penalties. So now we got to play recovery. 400 plus yard, like 406, par four. Dog led to the right. Uh, driver could be a little bit too much club here, um, but I also want to make sure I've got a really good look at this second shot. So I'm going to hit driver nice and easy, just smooth tempo, not trying to do anything besides hit this about 250. that didn't hear it hit anything but that's sliced right off the face caught it right in the middle of the face too it sucks all right super lucky here after what was a very poor drive covered all the trees and gave us only 100 yards in got sand wedge let's find out get back there Short, front of the green. All right, tip and a putt. All right, got to carry a bit of a ridge here. I'm gonna play it in the middle of my stance. Looking for it to go right to left. Hit this into the ridge a little bit. Ah, killed it a lot faster than I thought it would. That's about where I wanted to put it though. Get it there. All right. 
All right, not a great bogey, but leaving that chip short, can't really expect too much. Uh, we've got a par three here playing about 200 yards, slightly into the wind. We've got four hybrid. Anything on the green would be fine. Well, I didn't see it come down, but it was started on line. It looked good from here, but the angle I'm standing at is bad with this tree, but yeah. I didn't see it come down either. I caught it in the sun. It started good, didn't look like it was spinning. And if it held that line, it should be on the green somewhere. So here's hoping. All right, we've got a muddy lie here. About pin high, it's the right club. But this muddy lie is difficult. We get even a little bit too far behind the ball. We're going to chunk this thing. So I'm going to play it off the back foot, try to take some of the loft off. A lot of green to play with. Slow down. It's exactly how I wanted to play. I just don't know if I gave it too much. Oh. All right, just off the green, uphill. Got this a little bit left to right. Not too much. Need good speed here. If I hit it, it's in. Thank you. All right, not a great bogey, but really the four iron was hit really solid. Just chipping out of that mud was difficult. If it would have stopped just maybe a bit shorter, and we hit that last putt a little bit harder, we would have had a pretty solid look at par there. So another bogey. Uh, we would love to just keep finding pars at some place. Uh, I'm not really gonna be in my head trying to get myself a birdie to make back after that triple. Even just doing pars would be fine. So we're getting onto the 12th hole. It's a signature hole and one that I'm very regularly off to the right with driver. So we're not taking driver this time. We're taking three wood, playing all the way from the back here. It's a really good look at this hole. So hopefully we hit something straight. Absolutely where you want to be. Yeah. All right there, friends, great place to be. Got 75 yards to carry the wall, which is really the number that we're trying to play. Well, three quarter swing. We can get the sandwich to work for us. Oh, it's going left. Sit on the green though, please. Oh my God, that's so long. Caught that really clean. All right, so we stayed in. Difficult why. Gotta try to hit down on this, lift it. Don't want to be too long, otherwise we're in the water, so. Nice little finesse shot here. That's so good. Yeah, it squeaked a little bit left, but that was the exact shot we needed to play. Got a shot up par. You know, that hole continues to eat me up every time I play here, and it really should be par at worst. It's like a 230 yard drive at most, and then it leaves you less than 100 in. <laughs> There's really no reason that you should ever not make par in that hole, but bogey's okay considering we left the 75 yard chip shop way too long. We've got another par four, I think, right here. I'm not sure, actually, I didn't check the car. Should be okay, it's gonna be right though. A little fade on it. All right, solid drive. We actually cut off a lot of this hole by being in this right rough dirt leaves area. We got about 200 left, but a super helping wind. So I've got six iron playing about a 180 shot. Let's see if we can make this happen. Oh, it didn't ever wanna come left. 
That'll be all right, but I was playing for a draw and just stayed straight. All right, not bad considering that we caught some branches. Obviously we're short, but better than being too long. Uh, we've got a couple of mounds here that we need to carry. So we're playing about a 30 yard chip. And let's hope that this thing kind of hits the rough right in front of the pin in the green, and then it rolls up there because it is rolling away from me. Let's see if we can execute on this. That's too much. Actually, it's not bad at all. Nice shot. Didn't hit it exactly how I wanted to or where I wanted to. I was looking more right, but gives us an uphill putt for uh, birdie. Come on. Nope. Ah! So close to getting one back. All right, we really missed an opportunity in those last two holes. Should have been at least par in the in the par four signature, and we should have we should have sank that birdie putt. We really should have. But at least we were able to put a par on the card there, which is not bad overall. This last stretch of holes um, can be scorable still. This par three coming up though is a difficult one. 15th hole, it's playing about 180 on the card, but this pin is set pretty far back. Um, the guys in the green, the one in the back side of the green is playing closer to 190, and the one is swirling a little bit. So I'm gonna take five hybrid here. Um, and just hopefully put something middle of the green, hopefully get a little bit of a rollout. Get back there. Uh, front of the green. Humiliation. Oh, slow down. Oh. oh my gosh, I did not expect it to come off that hot. Round two, fight. And that is Denied. better, but poorly misread. Wow. Round three, fight. Oh, ugly three putt, but at least it's only three putt. Well, we can go back after this round is over and really look at the opening hole here in the back nine and then those last three holes as far as where we possibly missed score. The triple off 10 was tough. 13 should have been making par from there. I mean, that was a really bad second shot. And then the par five should have made the birdie. And then right there, three putting away for a bogey is really difficult. But hey, so what? We're having fun. It's December golf. Can't be mad about it. Hole 16 is a really cool one. Uh, that lake kind of in the background starts to become the central feature of the green coming up and then the next tee box, which is really awesome. So driver's fine. It's playing about 382. Just going to go right up the middle towards where those guys are. The fairway does bleed a little bit right to left and missing right is actually okay. There's a lot of space over there. So uh, we're going to be taking a line right over the top of the 150 marker. Hopefully something straight. Up. Dead center of the face, just went left off the face. All right, we ended up in this major ground under repair, so I just found myself a patch of grass that I can work with. Um, difficult shot here. I don't know if we can really get up and over because it's going to require full swing. And we don't have a full swing distance in. So I'm going to try to play something off towards the front of the green and hope it kind of rolls back a little bit. So I still got sand wedge here. I'm going to choke up and play more of a pitch and see if we can't put a little bit of draw spin so it rolls closer towards the pin. We don't have a look at the pin though. It's unfortunate because of this, uh, this green right here, or this tree. Ah, get up. <laughs> Stay. You saw exactly what I was trying to do. Just didn't quite hit it hard enough. That'll be all right, we can get up and down for par. Oh, this thing is sitting in a really bad spot. Oh my gosh. What was that? Terrible effort. Come down. Keep... Ah. Come 
Man, can't follow up after these great drives I've been hitting today. <laughs> this is by far my favorite part of this course. This is back tee box on this little isthmus peninsula. There's a look back over to the last green. Yeah, super pretty hole. All right, 17. Really cool looking hole, like we said. Split fairway though, gotta stay to the left. The deepest part of it's playing about 240. Yeah, that'll do nicely. All right, we got about 160 left, helping wind. I'm still gonna hit an easy eight iron here. See if we can get something up and over this tree. Hopefully settle close. It's gonna be a little bit right. Not bad contact though. All right, difficult up and down, ball above my feet, also sloping down and the green, after we get on, roll, it will roll down towards that pin. So we just gotta carry this thing onto the green. The further left, the better. Looks like, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> what am I doing? Hmm. Nice shot. Should have done that the first time. <laughs> Those ones hurt. Yeah, we've been missing a lot of short game opportunities today. They're perfectly average golfers. We got one more to play, par five, playing about 535. If we find a way to get par here, we will be at 89, I believe. So we could still break 90, which really isn't that bad considering we haven't played in a couple of weeks. So driver's been going pretty straight for us largely. Um, a couple of missed <laughs> faces and, and missed swings here or there for the big swings and big slices, but generally our, our driver's been going pretty well for us today. Um, inside 130 yards has not been all that particularly great as it typically is. Um, yeah, we gotta figure that out real quick. We got one better par five, it plays up the hill, 535 like I said, so one good swing here. We'll see what happens next. Oh no, I hit that so hard. I don't think that's gonna come back. Oh man, right in the middle of the face. Look, that was hooked like crazy, but it must have caught one of these trees. It, it came out right here. Like, I'm just as surprised as you guys are, okay? I thought that thing was gonna be maybe in the rough at best, if not in the trees. The fact that we've got a fairway lie is unbelievable. Helping wind, it's gonna be three wood for, for sure. So <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, that is a hell of a recovery shot after what ended up being not a very far drive. Hitting the three-wood off the deck really, really well lately. Confidence is going high. Let's see if we can still save that bird. If we can get to 88 after how this round has gone so far, that would feel really, really good. All right there, average golfers. 65 to carry that leap of the bunker. We need one good wedge. Wind is helping. It's gonna make this like a feel shot. A little left, that's gonna be pretty good. Take that. <laughs> it just uh, died. Hit my line, hit my speed.
All right there, Perfectly Average Golfer is a solid way to finish it off. Again, really lucky off that tee box. I really wish that I was lying to you guys because I never get that lucky. So we were able to put the par together at the end. It's a sweet way to finish things off for an 89 here at Links to Try. And the course is in great condition, man. I really, huge shout outs to the guys out here that are taking care of the course. Everyone at the clubhouse, super, super pleasant. It's about a $35 weekday fare, which is a really good deal considering what time of year it is and how good of a condition the course is in. So big shout outs to the guys here at Links to Try and lots of fun. We're gonna be kind of powering through a couple of more uh, 18 holes here and there just due to the fact that we've got some warm weather on the calendar as we're, again, we're right between Christmas and New Year's as I'm recording this. This will be up probably in January, but we'll have a couple more rounds we're probably gonna play down here in Greenville. Um, and then we'll have to figure out what we're gonna do from there. I really want to do, one last thing before you go away, I really want to do an aggressive versus conservative video where I'm hitting two balls, I'm playing one that's aggressive the other that's just conservative irons off the tee box stuff like that laying up on par fives just to compare the scores to see how the game is going and where I might need to change the mental energy for some particular holes if I've got 270 plus is it worth hitting that three wood or can I just hit a six iron up and get myself a pitching wedge in so that'll be a really fun series look forward to that and then maybe some drill type stuff that we're probably gonna get into as we start to get too cold to go out and play we'll see but hopefully you guys enjoyed it again subscribe if you have not done so already until next time friends make sure you stay perfectly average. So long.